What's the biggest difference that you've seen uh, Chavis come in and make immediately, and how how is it gonna how is he gonna make the defense better than it was last season? I think uh, the immediate difference is probably just an attacking personality. You know, first day he he walked and he said, "You do all these workouts, you do all this seven on seven in the summer to win a championship." No no school in SC West should be afraid to say that they're doing all this work to win a championship. Other questions for Julian. Staying on the left side, toward the back. Go ahead. Julian, you played at Brother Martin down in New Orleans. How big is the uh, game with LSU? Uh, you know, it's very big. You know, I, I grew up with a lot of those guys. We grew up seeing purple and gold every single year. And uh, you know, I decided to head to Texas. So whenever I get to go back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or play the purple and gold, I'm always excited. Other questions for Julian? Front row, right side. We'll get a mic over to you. Julian, talk about that fourth down play against Arkansas. Where you stuffed Jonathan Williams. Was there a key that, that led you to the ball? What Go back over that play in particular. Well, uh, like I said, after the Arkansas game, you know, uh, I, just saw, I just saw a red flash and I crossed face, you know. Uh, I came off the ball, you know, engaged the block pretty well and saw a red flash and crossed face and made the tackle. Wasn't expecting to end the game. Wasn't expecting to... Wasn't expecting to win the game for the team, but that happened. There was no key that tipped me off. You know, I just came off the ball and saw a red flash. You know, any any defensive lineman would tell you when when you see a uh, opposite color flash in the backfield, you know, you got to get off and make a play. So, other questions? Front row here, left side. Julian, Kevin's been very complimentary about a, a lot of defensive line members, but specifically Deshaun Hall. Uh, how has he progressed this offseason, and what can you expect? Uh, what do you expect him to do uh, under this new system? I expect, I just expect Day Day to put everything together. You know, he's had such a great offseason, getting stronger, getting bigger, getting faster. You know, so I think we're going to have two uh, great pass rushers in Miles Garrett and Deshaun Hall off the edge. Other questions? Left side, second row. I guess uh, a lot of people are talking about you guys on the defensive line. Um, what what do you think may surprise people, or what do people not understand or know about the people behind you, a linebacker and, and the defensive backfield? Uh, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Repeat that. Yeah. Uh, uh, people are talking a lot about you guys on the line. Uh, I'm curious uh, what what might be we be missing, or what might be surprise people uh, about the linebackers in the secondary this year. Like, what do you see in them, or what uh, you know, what are we missing about them that maybe people don't necessarily know? I think that uh, we have so much talent back there. We haven't had that since maybe my freshman year. We probably, I think we have more talent than we had in a linebacker position in the back and in the back end, um, probably more than my freshman year when we went 11 and 2. So I just think we, we brought in a lot of great guys. You know, a lot of our linebackers are healthy now. We brought in a we brought in a JUCO recruit named Justin Evans that's been impressing every single coach that, that walks through the door. So I just think we have a lot of pieces. We, uh, we uh, switched the guy over from the offensive backfield to defensive backfield, and I, that guy is such a great competitor that I don't think he's going to get beat by anybody. We'll go to the right side in the back. If you would, just talk a little bit more about Miles Garrett. What was it like to see him come in and make the impact he did as a freshman? You know, we knew Miles Garrett was going to be good as soon as he stepped foot into the weight room because he was such a strong guy. You know, being that big and being that fast and being that quick, it's just it's it's really unnatural. So uh, we knew he was going to be that we knew he was going to be that good when we uh, saw him in the weight room. But now he's become more of a student of the game. You know, he he relies more on skills and just talent. So I think he could I think he could possibly have a better season than he had last year. Maybe not number wise but just impacting the game wise other questions for Julian staying on the right side front row who's the hardest guy to bring down in practice I can't I can't hear you who's the hardest guy to bring down in practice to bring down yeah uh, probably Trey Carson. It's been Trey Carson for a while, you know. Uh, the guy's he's a big, he's a, he's a freight train. He can he can shake and bake. He can he can bring you with the speed. Probably Trey Carson. You can see it in a lot of games too. He's hard to bring down. Other questions in the back on the left side. So did y'all recover the fumble against Auburn? Yes, sir. Of course. <laughs> uh, are y'all still mad about that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Other questions? In the back, go ahead. Julian, I've asked this of your teammates, Energy Stadium, the opener against Arizona State, not a team you guys are familiar with, but what's it going to be like to be at Energy Stadium? Obviously, Aguiland coming to Houston. How is that for an opening game? I know last year you go to South Carolina, it was a great game, but now you get to keep in the state of Texas actually for a while this year. How about that game against Arizona State? It's just a blessing to open up a great stadium like that, and it's a blessing to open up against a great team. You know, it's just, I just feel blessed to be able to even play in that game. I'm, I'm sure a lot of my teammates do too. Right side, second row. Joy, and you've had a lot of big road wins, certainly Auburn last year, and then going back to Alabama, won all your bowl games and the neutral site game with Arkansas, but at home there's been a lot of struggles. What's got to happen to kind of turn that around and make Kyle Field into back the reputation it had going back to the Big 12 years? I don't think it's necessarily about playing at home. I just think it's uh, we play against great opponents at SC West. Uh, I don't think it's about the site. I just think uh, we just need to come to every single game ready to do our job. Staying on the right side toward the back. It's been a week. Are you enjoying life as a 21-year-old? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. It's, uh, it's been a rough week if I've been enjoying life as a 21-year-old. <laughs> Other questions for Julian? Okay, thank you, Julian.